Hey, Cleveland, how tall are you? I don't know. Cadillac come up to about here on me. All right, so I guess I am the tallest one of us. What are you talking about? I'm 6'2". Says so right here on my driver's license. Yeah, that, that doesn't count. Why not? You gonna make me say it? Lay me out on the floor. I'm 6'2". Hey, you guys. Peter, how tall am I? I don't know. How tall is a mailbox? You're about a mailbox. We now return to DJ Butcher. DJ Butcher. Hey, bro! Hey, you requesting a song or ordering some sliced meat? Meat! Half a pound of turkey, please! You want a sample? You mean like a slice of turkey? Or like a short section of one musical recording that's been digitally repurposed to be part of a new song? I don't know. I might quit this job. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's kind of funny. Tough but fair. You know, Peter, I love your chin, but I gotta ask. What's it like going through life with a scrotum so close to your mouth? You know what? Hold on. I'll just ask your teenage daughter. <laughs> I've been thinking. Maybe I gotta find friends who can't make fun of my appearance because they're weird looking themselves. Like those two bearded dwarves walking across the street there. Hey, will you bearded dwarves be friends with me? We, sir, are Italian children. Good day. Peter, you're loud, you can't hold down a job, and you got high blood pressure. You could be a black guy if your ding -ling wasn't so damn tiny. <laughs> How does everyone know? The news, did they invent that? Uh, no, not really. But they invented comedy. They didn't invent anything. Well, they centralized it, that we know. Man, look at these people. They don't breathe. They just drink and smoke and laugh. I want to do that. What are you talking about? You want to have a roast? Yeah, look, he's the man of the hour. Everybody loves him. They got his picture in a circle. How did he do that? Pictures come in squares. You know, Peter's challenging the stereotype of Irish guys being fat, drunk, and stupid by throwing a little gay in there, too. <laughs> oh, nice. Homophobia. But I gotta say, the worst part of being Peter's friend is knowing that eventually you're gonna have to be the fat ass's pallbearer. <laughs> Lift with the legs, right, fellas? <laughs> Peter's got a small penis, but hey, nothing grows in the shade. This just in is what Peter had to say to his wife on their wedding night so she knew it was actually happening. Peter's so ugly he couldn't get raped in our holding cell down at the station. For those of you who don't know, we have a real serious problem with people getting raped in our holding cell down at the station. Hi, I'm Professor Comedy. No! You were mad at us? Yeah, we ain't spoke in a week. I thought you were out of town. People come, people go. I didn't give no mind. So, we're, we're friends again? We were never not friends, you idiot. I love you guys. Guys are the best, not women. <laughs>